السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه Dear brothers and sisters, by the grace of Allah, we have completed the recitation of Surah Al-Baqarah already. And Alhamdulillah, we began reciting Surah Ali Imran. And in the third page of Surah Ali Imran, Allah Jalla wa Ala says, إِنَّ الدِّينَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ الْإِسْلَامِ Verily, surely, faith or religion in accordance to Allah is Islam. This is the third page of Surah Ali Imran. إِنَّ الدِّينَ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ الْإِسْلَامِ And then, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Ali Imran in tonight's recitation that Shaykh Mahmoud will be reciting inshallah and the Hufaz. مَا كَانَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ يَهُودِيًّا وَلَا نَصْرَانِيًّا That Prophet Abraham was not Jewish, nor was he Christian. This is, this is very important because it needs clarification. And please pay attention because there is some precise inf information. I need some precision in understanding and conveying. مَا كَانَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ يَهُودِيًّا وَلَا نَصْرَانِيًّا وَلَكِنْ كَانَ حَنِيفًا مُسْلِمًا But he was a Muslim. وَمَا كَانَ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ He did not associate anyone or anything with Allah. He wasn't amongst the mushriks. So this needs to be very clearly understood by every Muslim. That Ibrahim alayhi salam, ma kana Ibrahim yahudiyan, he was not Christian, uh, Jewish, wala nasraniyan, and he was not Christian, wala kin kana hanifan muslima, but he was a Muslim. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wa ma kana min al mushrikeen. Additionally, tonight we are going to recite, wa ma yabtaghi ghayr al islam dinan. And anyone who pursues other than Islam as a faith, it will not be accepted from them. Let me clarify one more time. Anyone who pursues a faith other than Islam, it will not be accepted from them, Allah says. And in the, de in, in the hereafter, they will be amongst the losers. This is very important. Or he or she will be amongst the losers. Today, we hear terminology. The terminology of Abrahamic faiths. Ibrahim had one faith. Islam and all the prophets that came after him were from his offspring so this is where the mix-up happens Musa alayhi salam is related to Ibrahim alayhi salam Isa alayhi salam obviously by only way of mother because he has no father is related to Ibrahim alayhi salam and Rasuluna Khatam al Nabiyyin wal Mursaleen Muhammadun alayhi salatu was salam is related to Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam so there is a lineage that goes back to Ibrahim alayhi salam, lineage, but religion, the religion and faith of each and every prophet of Allah is only one religion and one faith, it is the faith of Islam. And let me conclude with this verse that we recited in the page before last of the first juz in Surah Al-Baqarah, أَمْ كُنْتُمْ شُهَدَاءَ إِذْ حَضَرَ يَعْقُوبَ الْمَوْتِ إِذْ قَالَ لِبَنِيهِ مَا تَعْبُدُونَ مِنْ بَعْدِي قَالُوا نَعْبُدُ إِلَٰهَكَ وَإِلَٰهَ آبَائِكَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَاعِيلَ وَإِسْحَاقَ إِلَٰهًا وَاحِدًا وَنَحْنُ لَهُ مُسْلِمُونَ This is from the time of Ibrahim alayhi salam and onwards. مِلَّةَ أَبِيكُمْ إِبْرَاهِيمُ 
هو سماكم المسلمين من قبل. So this is very important to clarify that the faith, the religion of every prophet of Allah is Islam. And specifically the religion of Ibrahim to clarify is Islam. And it wasn't any other religion. And the mix-up or misuse or misunderstanding of the Abrahamic faiths, no, there's one Abrahamic faith, but the offspring of Ibrahim had all the prophets, including Isa, including Musa, and Muhammad alayhim salatu was salam. And there is an attempt to out there to have all faiths mixed up in a blender and tell you this is just one Abrahamic faith. This is incorrect. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clarified this in the Quran that we are reciting in Surah Ali Imran. I felt that this is important to clarify and to understand. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us on the faith of La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah to the day we meet him. Lastly, but not least, we are ordered by Allah to be kind to the people of the book. We are commanded by Allah to be kind to all people. وَقُولُوا لِلنَّاسِ husna And speak to people extremely kindly. Treat them extremely kindly. Be extremely neighborly and kind with your colleagues, classmates, and neighbors, etc. Non-Muslims especially. But being kind and treating folks extremely kindly does not equate to misunderstanding the faith of Ibrahim alayhi wa ala nabiyyina salatu wa salam may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us learn more sacred knowledge and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us on the straight path ameen Allahumma ameen jazakumullahu khayran wa qumu ila salatikum alhamdulillah